2016 has been a stacked year of game releases on all platforms and genres. There's been so many great games, and in this video, we're going to be going through the top 10 best games of 2016 so far. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Doom. Doom was one of many first-person shooters that was released this year. More on the others in a little bit, but what makes Doom different than the others is that its highlight isn't its multiplayer component. Don't get me wrong, Doom has a multiplayer mode. It's there and it's fine, but it's not anything revolutionary. The real star of Doom is the single-player campaign, which is a complete 12-hour experience with great pacing, big moments, and chaos. Technically, the game is also very impressive, not just on PC, but on consoles as well. Give it a look if you haven't yet. Demonic threat reduced by 25%. Number 9, XCOM 2. XCOM 2 was originally released on PC back in February, and initially it did suffer from some technical issues, but that has been mostly remedied. The game was also released on consoles back in September, and that version is very good. The definitive version is on PC, but if a console is your only option, it's great there too. The game itself is very similar to XCOM Enemy Unknown, with some refinements. That's not a bad thing at all, considering how great Enemy Unknown was. If you're a fan of tactical strategy games, XCOM 2 is a must. I've got eyes on our best troops. Number 8, Ratchet & Clank. Ratchet & Clank has been one of the most prominent franchises on PlayStation going back to the PlayStation 2, but before this year, we hadn't seen a traditional game in a while. And while this Ratchet & Clank game isn't a brand new entry, rather it's a reboot of the very first game, but this isn't just a standard HD remastering as you probably noticed. Ratchet & Clank was built ground up for the PlayStation 4, and visually, it looks outstanding. From a gameplay standpoint, it's as great as ever. The exceptional platforming, outlandish weapons, it's all here. Whether you've been a fan of the franchise for the last decade and a half or you've never played it, Ratchet and Clank is well worth your time. Incoming dropship detected. Number 7, Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 was probably the most anticipated shooter of 2016, and I'd say it delivered. The biggest takeaway of the game is obviously the refreshing setting. It was a risk by dice to a degree, but at the core, playing the game, you can tell this is still Battlefield. But that's not a bad thing, it had the core fundamentals down. There's new gameplay elements and the maps are very well designed. The single player campaign was also far better than recent Battlefield games, nothing out of this world amazing, but a solid diversion. Best of all, the game performed very well on all platforms. PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Uh. 
Number 6, Forza Horizon 3. Forza has become one of the staple franchises for Microsoft. Some would argue it's gotten stale, but considering you have the Motorsport and Horizon games, which are starkly different experiences, it worked. This year's game was Forza Horizon 3, and it built upon everything that the second game did. This game was far bigger than the previous game, about twice in size, and the open world of Australia is a blast to explore. It's got a ton of content, and it'll keep you busy for a while. The PC version wasn't the best, but at this point, it's at least playable, and the Xbox One version is fantastic. Fantastic. Number 5, Overwatch. Overwatch was one of the most anticipated shooters of the year, coming from one of the biggest studios in the industry in Blizzard. It's great because of its accessibility, but at the same time, there is a ton of depth to the game. If you're someone that just wants to play an enjoyable multiplayer shooter, then Overwatch has you covered. But you can also really get into the game and master every hero and role. It's a very diverse experience, and it does a great job of keeping the player engaged at all times. And considering the massive appeal the game has had becoming a fixture in the esports world as well, there is no worry about about a dying player base. Hi, Marcy. Number 4, Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 was the one multiplayer first-person shooter that really went under the radar this year. That was to be expected given it was released around the same time as the behemoths in Call of Duty and Battlefield. However, many would argue that this was the best first-person shooter of the year. The first Titanfall game had its issues, and Respawn went back and corrected nearly all of those and made Titanfall 2 a much more complete experience. Now we have a single-player campaign, a much deeper multiplayer. And overall, you have a game that's well worth $60, if not more than that. The only downside about Titanfall 2 is the question of whether or not the community will last. We hope it does, and it looks like Respawn will be continuing to do a great job in updating the game and providing DLC content. You are dominating. Two out, now the rest. Sector A is clear of Remnant Fleet forces. Number 3, Inside. Play Dead was responsible for one of the best indie games of all time in Limbo, and this year they finally released their second project, Inside. The game first arrived to Xbox One, but at this point it's also on PC and PlayStation 4. Inside, like Limbo, is a very dark puzzle platformer, and it'll make the player really think. Mechanically, it's very well designed, but Inside is a game that has a far bigger picture than just mechanics. Saying it's better than Limbo is very plausible, and if you enjoyed that game, Inside is a must-play.
Number two, Dark Souls 3. Souls has become one of the most popular franchises in all of gaming. Who would have thought that 2009's Demon Souls would lead to this, but here we are. Dark Souls 3 was From Software's final entry in the franchise for now, and it's the culmination of a near decade long worth of work. From a technical standpoint, the game is tremendous. Gameplay was superb as well, being a blend between Dark Souls and Bloodborne. The world and design were on point best the series has seen, and it did a great job of really investing the player into it. If you're a fan of Souls, you probably already have played Dark Souls 3 at this point, but if not, what are you waiting for? Before we get to number one, let's go over some honorable mentions. Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Tyranny, Stardew Valley, and Dishonored 2. Finally, number one, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Naughty Dog is arguably the top development studio in the world. Their track record is truly remarkable, from Jack and Daxter, Uncharted, The Last of Us, some of the best games of all time. This year, they closed the story on Nathan Drake and Uncharted for A Thief's End, not only one of the best games of 2016 so far, but the best the PlayStation 4 has offered thus far. It pushed the console to its technical limits. It's one of the best looking games you'll come across. It also rose the bar for Uncharted, which considering how good the previous three games were, namely two and three, that's amazing. Superb pacing, an emotional and gripping story, excellent and refined gameplay, and one of the best endings to a game series I've ever seen. And then there's also the multiplayer, which is a very nice addition to the overall package. Uncharted 4 is a system seller for the PlayStation 4, now we want to see what Naughty Dog has planned next. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 best games of 2016 so far. What do you think? What games have been your favorite this year? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.